What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction, and we're getting into the new episode of One Piece, 1045. So excited for this. Last episode was an absolute banger. Finally showing off fucking Robin's new power, and uh, ultimately the victory for Robin and Brooke against Black Maria. Awesome, awesome episode. That was the main center of that episode was Brooke and Robin, and then. Shortly after that, we got a little bit more of a glimpse on, like, what's going on with Luffy. He's eating up the fucking apparently month-old lasting food of Caribou's hull uh, in one sitting to get him back to just where he needs to be, get back up on Onigashima and take care of Kaido. So he's eating up, he's healing up, and, uh, you know, he's pleading Momonosuke, like, hey, get me up there, turn into a dragon, get me the fuck back up on Onigashima. And uh, last, what we saw on the end of the uh, last episode, Momonosuke is pleading Shinobu to use her special Ripe Ripe, I think it's called Ripe Ripe, I think, Jutsu or whatever, to turn him into an older person, or like a full-grown adult, physically, but his mind will still be of that as of what his age is right now as a child. So he's still gonna have to progress and age mentally normally but his physical prowess in his body is going to enhance drastically very quickly and he can't go back after this but he's pleading for it from shinobu and this is the only way that he can grant luffy's wish of getting him back up to onigashima because if he is a full adult in theory we're thinking right he's a full dragon so that's where we left off last episode and i absolutely enjoyed it last episode it was so 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 good mainly just because of robin i mean she went the fuck in that's my fucking girl robin babe oh my god but nonetheless i'm so excited for this new episode it is currently quarter to three on eastern time so about 2 45 in the morning and uh i mean you know i've just been having fun and you know went out to dinner with my friends and came back and had a few drinks with uh, a couple of them it is officially my birthday after you know just hitting midnight a couple hours ago december 18th baby let's go we hit 23 baby big 23 it's my birthday we've been having a great time i've been enjoying myself having a couple drinks and in celebration of my birthday right before we start this episode i think i should take one more shot don't you think it's a shot o'clock don't you think hey luna hey hey, hey. what are you looking at over there Come over here and support me. Lay in your bed. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, my God. Look at her. She's such a cutie. We are going to take this shot in celebration of Foxy's birthday. Oh, my God. I, I've had enough, but what's one more going to hurt? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so here we go. Cheers to y'all. Let's go. That was rough. That was rough. If I didn't have that fucking chaser, oh my God. It might have been a whole scene on this fucking desk right here. Holy shit. I mean, I got a trash can right here next to me just for precautions in case I need it. You know, that's where the trash can always is. But we're chilling. We made it through. Holy fuck. I am awake now. God damn. That shot was something else. All right. Well, if you guys weren't ready before, I hope you're ready now. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, please leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe if you're new. There's plenty more on the way. Let's get into this new One Piece episode. I don't know if this is technically the last one before the break. I don't know when initially the break starts, but I do know there's a break coming for the anime just in terms of the holidays, because right now it's December 18th. It's my birthday. It's literally a week before Christmas. So I'm assuming maybe we don't get an episode next week. Who knows? I don't know when the break officially starts, but this might be the last episode until the new year or whatever. Who knows? So, without further ado, let's get into it. You're damn right she got defeated. That's my girl, Rovin. Woo! 
more pieces on the puzzle. Guess what? We just took more. We just took down more of your fucking enemies. Yo, CP0 is so fucking whack. Get them the fuck out of here. Kid and Zoro. I didn't read that whole title, but I heard Kid and Zoro, okay? Remember, guys, I'm a few drinks deep. Leave me alone, all right? I'm having a good time. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, the whole Tobiropo, they're all defeated. Onigashima is almost to the flower capital. Every, every, everybody at the flower capital is having a great, grand old time, just getting drunk, having fun for their one time a year. Little do they know, the biggest battle of the century in their country is going on. And depending on the outcome, they're going to be able to have fun like this night every fucking night, motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go, Luffy! This motherfucker... <laughs> Look at his face. That motherfucker is stuffed. That looks like me earlier at Korean barbecue. Motherfucker just exhales and he loses like 500 pounds. Let's go. Good shit. Digested. Easy. Done. Let's go. Yes, sir! Healed up. Ready to go. Easy as that, baby. Let's go. Oh, damn. It's been a minute since this. I forgot about this. Rizo versus... um. Yeah, uh, the top ninja for Orochi. You're a bitch. Because you know... You're a bitch because you know Orochi is a bitch. So, like, I don't know, bro. Couldn't be serving a dude like that. I'll tell you that much. Ooh! Get some hand signs in this bitch. What's up, Naruto Uzumaki? <laughs> My man's just using his earlobes to fucking deflect that shit. <laughs> oh my god. Earlobe straight to the face. Hey, shut your bitch ass up. You have no idea what I've been through, bro. Yes, sir! Under the Kozuki family. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Orochi Kaido's over. You're damn right. Yes, take me back to Luffy and Momo. Come on. Come on, Shinobu. Give him his wish. Did she do it? I think she did it. How great you've become. Yeah, she did it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, they're not gonna reveal it yet. Ooh, killer versus fucking um Fuck! I can't remember his name right now. I wanna say Hawk something like Hawkeye? No, it's not Hawkeye. What the I'm tripping, bro. That's a Shubukai. That's fucking Zoro's master. What the fuck am I talking about? What what is this dude's name, bro? I completely forgot because I'm so... I'm, I, I've had too much fun tonight. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Hawkins! That's his name. Hawkins, right? Hawkins? I think that's his name. That's why I thought of Hawkeye, because it starts with Hawk. I think it's Hawkins, right? Please tell me I'm right. I'm so drunk. Jesus Christ. Oh my god! The animation looking clean right now. Let's go, kid! Fuck Big Mom up! Shut your big nose ass up, bro. You better get your shit rocked. Kid and law here. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Hawkins. Yeah, okay. I knew I knew I was right. God damn it. Yeah, those are like all his like lives, right? His like little dolls and shit. Yeah, I'm more in those lives. Yeah, those are his lives. Let's go, kid. Oh, 
I like how they're showing Kid and Killer right now because they're part of the same crew. Oh shit. Killer got a hit on fucking Hawkins and that fucked up uh, Kid. Is that what just happened? That's what just happened, right? <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> Whose lives are in them? Oh shit. Damn, yeah, that was Killer's attack. Holy fuck. Shut your big mom ass up. Mm. Hawkins, you're such a bitch, bro. You are part of the same new generation. You fucking bent your knee to Kaido. Like, mm. Try it, bitch. Let's go. Come on. Kill me. Kill me right now. Try it. He is taunting him so fucking hard right now. Woo! I love that laugh. Damn right you're disgusting. Fuck Hawkins, bro. Holy shit. It's a standstill between these two battles. It's crazy. And we're halfway through. Holy fuck. Are we going to get Luffy back up on the top of the Odigashima or what, bro? Come on. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Dun dun! Come on. Oh, okay, back to life lore. Queen and uh, Sanji Chopper, whoever. Cyborg! He just exhales like. Nothing, bro. Nothing. I'm chilling. <laughs> Holy shit, the animation is looking crazy right now! Okay! Queen versus Sanji heating up a little bit. Oh, that kick was fire! Oh, there's King. Interfering. King and Queen on his ass, bro. Holy fuck. Oh my god, none. The animation is looking crazy right now. Holy shit. Oh my god! Let's go, baby! Yes, sir! Chef it up! Ooh. Oh my god! Nah, Sanji's going off right now. I love this shit. Come on, Sanji, keep chefing it up. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, it took a heavy hit there, finally. By uh, King. Holy shit. Oh! <laughs> King and Queen, bro. These motherfuckers. Oh my god. And they start picking up all their fucking traitors. Yeah, you all die now. That's the price of being a traitor. <laughs> Even though you guys were already gonna kill them in the first place with your stupid ass fucking virus. Bitch ass. Damn, even Marco's reaches limit. Holy fuck. Nah, that's wild. That's a wild picture. That might be thumbnail, low key. That might be thumbnail. Holy fuck. Come on, where's Zoro at? I know Chopper and Zoro and like the rest of the doctors were on this floor. Where the fuck is Zoro? Yeah, what is Mossad doing? Where the fuck is he at, bro? He's gotta be getting up soon. Damn, it hasn't taken effect yet, bro. They they've they've fucking gave him the drug, but it hasn't kicked in yet. Come on, bro. Come on, Zoro. Stand the fuck up this episode. Let's go. Sanji's been holding it down. Yeah, good luck with that. He's gonna kick in right when he needs to. Yeah, your ass is trying to take advantage of Marco? Get the fuck out of here. You act like we're just gonna let that happen? That's right, bitch. Mm, good ass kick, Sanji. Let's go. 
Oh my god. Here we fucking go with this dude. Peros Pero, you fucking bitch ass motherfucker. What is he doing now? Mm. Man, shut your bitch ass up. You ain't about to do shit. That marriage was never gonna happen, buddy. I hope you know that. I don't give a fuck. Oh shit! Is Cat Viper finally here? Let's go! Take him out! Take Paris Pero out! Kill his ass! He deserves it! He killed Pedro! Or got Pedro killed in the first place! Let's go! Ah! Fuck you, Paris Pero! Sit your fucking bitch ass down! Ah! Let's go! Right back to the entrance, you bitch ass. Good shit, Cat Viper. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Zoro. Come on, Zoro. Get the fuck up. You ain't gonna touch him, motherfucker. He better stand the fuck up right here. If he doesn't stand up right here, then the episode is ending. As far as I can tell. If I had to guess, a motherfucker. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, shit. King is on their ass, bro. Come on, come on, come on, Zoro. Come on. Get up. You need to get up. Right fucking now. <laughs> Chopper. Come on, Zoro. You got to get up. Come on. Let's go. Oh, my God, Sanji. Go ahead. Nah. Come on, Zoro. Get up. Get up. It's gonna be next episode. It's gonna be next. I fucking knew it, bro. It's gonna be next episode. God fucking damn it, bro. Oh my. <sighs> Alrighty, guys. What another amazing episode of One Piece. That was really fucking good. Like I thought, we got pretty much right back into the where we left off with fucking Momo. Shinobu and Luffy. I'm pretty sure that's where we got got uh, back on uh, in the beginning of the episode for a short time. Uh, we saw Luffy just pretty much finishing his food, fully digesting it, and getting back to himself. He's pretty much fully healed, it looks like now, and he's ready to fucking go. And then Shinobu was kind of freaking out. She was like crying a little bit. Oh my god, how you've grown. So it looks like Momonosuke. Like, Shinobu finally went through with Momonoke, Mo, Momonosuke's transformation into a full adult and using her ripe, ripe jutsu and the way that she was reacting and a little bit of a teaser of what he may look like as an adult, but they didn't fully give it to us, obviously. That's going to come, uh, you know, who knows how much later. We'll see. <laughs> um... But yeah, saw that, and uh, so it looks like Luffy is going to be able to get his wish and actually get back up on Onigashima soon. We'll just have to see when exactly that episode is going to be, whether it's next week or who knows when they go on break. Like, I don't know what episode it's going to be, but it looks like it's going to be happening soon. And then after that, we get uh, back in. We finally catch up with Kid and Law for a little bit, and Kid and Law are really putting up their fight against Big Mom and uh, trying to show that they're, you know, ready to fucking take her down and put everything that they have into fucking fighting her. And uh, they're doing a pretty good job so far. But as we see, Killer is also fighting Hawkins at the same time. And Killer has pretty much gone through all of his defenses for the most part, besides one. I don't know if this is his last doll, last life, whatever. Or it's, you know, maybe like one of his last ones. But this one doll came up where it's connected to Kid's life. And as soon as Killer tried to stab Hawkins, in that moment, it stabbed Kid at the same time while he was on the scene with Big Mom. And it stopped him from doing one of his big attacks. So this is going to be an interesting, you know, dynamic here where Kid and Law are trying to take down Big Mom. And Kid's trying to do the best he can. But Killer is also trying to take down Hawkins, who is using Kid's life to his advantage against Killer. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see if Killer can get past that in some way or if he's just going to have to play on the defensive for a while. Who knows? I know, but you don't know. So we'll see. 
<laughs> yeah, very interesting to see that, and I'm glad we catch up with them again because it's, it's been a good couple episodes since we've seen um, Law and Kid against Big Mom, and you know, the last time we saw from them, I don't know how many episodes it was ago, but it was at least when they actually just like approached her kid was the first one that approached her and then eventually law got there and then they like made a temporary alliance to try and fight her and that was the last thing that we saw was when law got there and like made that temporary alliance with kid to try and defeat her that was the last thing we saw so it's been a good minute since we've seen them so i'm glad we catch up with them for a little bit and uh, kind of see that fight progress and then in turn because kid we're focusing on kid for a little bit killer is a part of kid's crew we saw a little bit of his fight against Hawkins and seeing how that affects Kid's fight as a whole just because of Hawkins' ability. So, really cool stuff in, uh, in there in the in the middle of the episode. And then I'm pretty sure just basically towards the second half or mainly the end of the episode, we're mainly on the live floor with Sanji and Queen and the animation is looking amazing. And then even King jumps in to try and, you know, help Queen stop fucking Sanji from doing whatever he wants. And uh, ultimately shutting down what Sanji and the rest of the samurai and whoever's on Luffy's side on that live floor doing what they want, including Zoro. King is very aware of Zoro's disadvantage right now to where he's trying to heal, and apparently they know that they've given him, given him something uh, to hopefully get him back on his feet, which we're hoping is soon, maybe even as soon as next episode. But uh, King is very aware of that, and he's like, yo, to everybody that's on the floor that's still on our side because they were they were starting to even like in the middle of all that they were starting to fucking take out people that were on their side initially but like you know that were named as traitors basically right but that's all because of queen because he started that fucking ice oni virus turned his own men into fucking ice oni and then those men were in turn saved by chopper so they were like oh fuck yeah i'm a, I'm a side on these motherfuckers because like you just disposed of me so easily like why would i want to be on your side so you know they, they start in, in the middle of all that they started taking out some of the traders just to show an example but again kane uh very quickly mentioned like yo they gave something to zoro he's down right now make sure he doesn't get the fuck back up so like they're trying to make sure that zoro doesn't have a, even a chance to get back up they want him they want to take him down before he even has a chance to heal or you know do whatever he, he has to do once he gets healed by this drug or whatever he's taken from zo um so we're just waiting for that to kick in and i have a feeling it's going to kick in very soon as maybe as soon as next episode uh because they're really teasing it right now with uh like you know chopper and the rest of the doctors carrying him away and running away from everybody else um and trying to keep him alive and safe while they wait for the effect to kick in because they've already given him the drug they're just waiting for it to fucking smack in and then you know hopefully he's back on his fucking feet and we're gonna fucking get down to business so really that's all we're waiting for with zoro and uh what's going on there on the life floor and you know it's gonna be you know zoro sanji it looks like mainly against king and queen and you know hopefully chopper gets back to his normal state soon because he's still been like a baby grandpa for a while and uh we see a couple others have finished their fights, like Robin and Brooke finished Black Maria, Frankie f finished the Triceratops dude motherfucker, and, uh, you know, shit is really starting to hit the fan, you know, shit is really starting to heat up, everybody on both sides, they're losing each other, there's a lot of fucking casualties on Kaido's side, there's a lot of casualties on the samurai side, in terms of the, the overall samurai, just like the, you know, regular subordinates, but overall, Luffy's crew and the samurai are making more of an impact because at first it was just 5,000 versus like 30,000 and now tides are starting to turn people are switching sides thanks to Otama or rather thanks to just their own morale because they got fucked over by Queen so they're like nah fuck you I'm going to the other side you know what I'm saying so everything is just going crazy right now and I'm absolutely loving it so you know as you know Luffy crew and the fucking samurai they're constantly changing tides and you know making this battle ever more foreseeable to actually accomplish and be victorious when you just think it wouldn't be uh just by the sheer numbers so hey man
One Piece is fire as usual. That was a great episode. And I can't wait to get in the next one, man. Just got to wait another week. And honestly, it might not even be another week. It might be longer than that because I don't know when this goes on break. But as far as I know, it does go on break at some point for the holidays um, for, you know, a week or two or maybe even more. So we just have to wait and see. Regardless, what another great episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe if you're new. There's plenty more on the way. And I will see y'all in the next one. Deuces.